Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Troy Allen Gallat. Welcome to Trigger Time TV brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters. To start today's show off, Ms. Tatiana Whitlock has Carly Boatwright of Crossbreed Holsters. They're going to do what's called the fundamental fix. Hi folks, I'm Tatiana Whitlock here with Trigger Time TV, Season 9. Today we're going to be talking about fixing the fundamentals of your stance, grip, and posture to make sure that your range training time is meaningful from a ready position or from concealment. Today joining us is Carly Boatwright of Crossbreed Holsters. We are going to be working with a Glock 19, and right now I've got a Glock 19 with an RMR, kind of a custom setup, in a Crossbreed Super Tuck holster. So let's get started. Carly, the first thing we need to do is think about our feet, believe it or not. Managing the gun begins with our feet. So Carly, I'm going to have you take your right foot and bump it back so your toe is in line with your heel. Excellent. The next step here is to make sure that if we had to move forward, our bodies would be ready to do that. We need to take both toes and make sure they're pointed at the target. So when I tell you to point your toes, your belly button, and your nose at the target, automatically that squares everybody's hips perfectly in line. We're not bladed or angled inappropriately. From here, we're now going to have to get the upper half of our body in play, and that means getting aggressive behind the gun. Right now, she's in a strong foundation. We need to build the second half of that. So Carly, I'm going to have you pretend like you're going to push a heavy piece of furniture or a refrigerator across the kitchen. How would you position your body to do that? Exactly, right? Her chin is up, her collarbone is forward, her shoulders are naturally back. We're not turtling or crunching or collapsing too tightly around the pistol. We can take a lot of information and support the gun appropriately. From here, we need to then project the gun out on targets. So what I'll have you do, Carly, is pick a spot on that target you want to shoot. All I want you to do is present the pistol onto that position. Straight line, punch the gun, drive the gun straight out. Go ahead. Excellent. So in this position, we take a look at a couple of things. Right now, you'll notice her elbows aren't completely locked out. She's got a slight bend, which is perfect. If this was 100% extension, you'd bump it back to about 85%. You'll also notice that the grip is just a little bit off. So the next thing we need to correct is the grip. So Carly, take your right hand thumb and point it high. Great. What she's done is created an air pocket of space for her support hand to now fill. And in rolling her hand forward, she now has a complete grip on the pistol. Firing hand provides front to back pressure on the pistol. Support hand provides side to side pressure on the pistol. You should see the grip texture, pattern, or detailing translate into the palm of your hand. That's how you'll know you're gripping and pressing strong enough behind the gun. So Carly, what I will have you do is come back to that compressed ready position now that we've got a good grip on the gun. And we're going to have you shoot a four round course of fire. All right, identify your spot on the target. Take a deep breath for me. Shooter ready, shoot. Excellent. You'll notice she paused right after that last shot. We want to make sure we're not building in bad range training scars. Bringing that gun back too quickly is less than optimal. Regaining that final sight picture through your sights before you bring the gun back allows you the decision making time to administer to the gun, reload it if necessary, or re-engage the target if you have to. So Carly, we're going to make some corrective actions here. I want you to get meaner, more aggressive behind the gun. Get that million dollar handshake on the pistol. So so get your body in position already as aggressively as you feel you are appropriate to. Excellent. Identify your target and shoot. Very nicely done. Good posture, good control, good management of all of the fundamentals. This ready position is also key because while it is appropriate at this range, it gives us a stage of the draw which we're training in. 
At the end of the day, our goal is to eliminate as much artificiality at the range as possible. You'll notice this whole setup provides a very economical use of all of our time. There is not a lot of excess body movement involved. The only thing that's truly moving are her arms to present the pistol on target. Very efficient use of space. At the end of the day, folks, the goal is to have efficiency and economy of emotion. Train in the context of your life for the fight of your life. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Crossbreed Holster, Glock Perfection, Velocity System, Mayflower Research and Consulting, Lucid Optics, Bravo Company USA, Lucas Oil Outdoor Line. Christensen Arms, Silencer Co., Primary Weapon System, Law Tactical, Nemo Arms, Flint River Armory, and ammunition provided by Gorilla.